Mississippi's educators are rejoicing after tremendous gains in reading and math scores among fourth and eighth graders. Richard Lake takes a look at the numbers and how this progress came to be in this 12 News investigation. The National Assessment of Educational Progress finds Mississippi in the top 10 rankings in reading and math. Among 2019 scores in fourth grade reading and math, Mississippi ranks number two and three. These gains have been a surprise to most of the country, but one educator says it has been in the works for the past 10 years. In 2013, we really started looking at what we call the science of reading, and that's where we really do the research on how it is to teach our elementary students. Uh, once we started using that science, that research, we really saw that our reading scores accelerated. Focusing on comprehension, vocabulary, and phonics, instilling the science of reading methods have proven pivotal in lifting up a state that has long suffered in education. We put more money into reading, we raised teacher pay, we put more money into public education, we're seeing that that money is spent wisely, and now we're seeing positive results. Governor Tate Reeves says, quote, Mississippi schools are doing such a great job that other states are now following our lead. We're teaching other states how to teach. We have states such as Nevada, New Mexico, Delaware, and Rhode Island reaching out to us, gathering ideas on how they can implement these strategies also. These recent gains can be seen in graduation rates as well. In 2014, the Mississippi graduation rate was at 74.5%, well below the national average. Now, Mississippi's graduation rate is at 88.9%, a full point above the national average and expected to rise. The one hurdle left for Mississippi schools, an ongoing teacher shortage. The Mississippi Department of Education reported 2,593 vacancies for the 2022-2023 school year, a decrease in vacancies from 2021 to 2022. We do have a shortage of teachers. That's why it's going to be so important that we rally behind our public schools, that we put the resources there that are needed. We've got to make sure that that work environment is sound. We've got to protect the retirement system. We've got to help teachers pay off their college loans. Our students have shown, our teachers have shown that they can show us real improvement. Reporting in Jackson, Richard Lake, 12 News.